They gathered to show their support for a woman who was gang raped on a public bus in New Delhi. The 23 year old medical student was then thrown out of the moving bus and left for dead. A male companion of hers was also beaten. Divya Gopalan has more on the anger the incident has stirred. These protesters were hosed down as they tried to break through the barricades around the home of New Delhi's chief minister. But anger at the gang rape of a 23-year-old woman played out on the streets, not just in the capital, but across the nation. You know, women are uh, told that if you're raped, you're inviting rapes. And, um, you know, uh, why did you go out with the boy in the midnight or in this hour? Why did you dress like a, uh, like a certain, in a certain way? This kind of moral policing should not be tolerated. The protesters want action and justice now. They're frustrated because so little seems to have been done to halt the rising tide of sexual violence against women in the country. The number of rape cases have doubled in the past two decades. The victim is fighting for her life in this hospital. According to Delhi police, several men attacked her and a male friend on a luxury bus. The men raped her and then threw her out of the moving vehicle. Under pressure to take action, the interior minister has met with police chiefs. Parliamentarians want the government to explain what it will do to make women safer in the capital, and New Delhi's High Court bluntly accused the police of failing women. But some people say the courts themselves have to be overhauled. With 40,000 rape cases pending across the country, judges just don't have the resources to keep up. Most of the cases do not reach the level of judgment. 96% cases are filed in the court and only 29% cases get actually final conviction. That means three out of four get scot free. There is a problem. The outcry over this attack has begun a fierce debate about how to deal with the rapists. Some legislators have even suggested capital punishment. But it remains to be seen whether this indignation will lead to a change in the attitude towards crimes against women.